In this question, we are given a determinant of square matrix M and we are defined a function G such that G theta is under root of F theta minus 1 plus under root of F pi by 2 theta minus 1. Now first we'll simplify this determinant. Now we know that sine pi is 0, cos 90 is 0 and 10 pi is 0. Now this is sine pi minus pi by 4 and this is cos theta minus pi by 4. Now we know that cos theta is sine pi by 2 minus theta so it will be this sine pi by 2 minus theta plus pi by 4 so it will be this sine pi by 4 minus theta so here it is theta minus pi by 4 and here it is sine pi by 4 minus theta so basically it is minus sine theta minus pi by 4 in the same way this is theta minus pi by 4 and it is theta plus pi by 4 again we'll apply this we'll get this is minus 10 theta minus pi by 4 and this is log a upon b and this is log b upon a we know that log a upon b is minus log b upon a so this is minus log 4 upon pi so essentially this second determinant is skew symmetric determinant of order 3 and we know that skew symmetric determinant of odd order is always zero. So this second part is zero. So essentially this f theta, it will be one by two. And this is one sine theta one minus sine theta one sine theta minus one minus sine theta and one. Now what we'll do is we'll write C1 as c1 plus c3 so it will be this 1 by 2 and this is 2 0 0 this is sin theta 1 1 sin theta minus sin theta and 1 now we expand this we we'll get f theta as one plus sin square theta or if we write under root of f theta minus 1 it will be mod of sin theta now we are given g theta is under root f theta minus 1 plus under root of f pi by 2 minus theta minus 1 and here theta lies in first quadrant in first quadrant mod sin theta is same as sin theta so from here we can write g theta as under root f theta minus 1 which will be sin theta and plus under root f pi by 2 minus theta sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so it will be simply sin theta plus cos theta now we differentiate this we we'll write g dash theta as cos theta minus sin theta equals 0 that means theta equals pi by 4 now g0 is 1 g pi by 2 is 1 and g pi by 4 is root 2 it means its minimum value is 1 and its maximum value is root 2 now it says px is a polynomial whose roots are these minimum and maximum values of g theta so we can write px as a into x minus 1 into x minus root 2 now it also says P2 is 2 minus root 2. So P2 is 2 minus root 2. This is A, this is 1, and this is 2 minus root 2. That means value of A is 1. So essentially, this quadratic Px, it will be x minus 1 into x minus root 2. So we have this quadratic equation whose roots are 1 and root 2 and it will be a parabola opening upwards. Now we have to find which of the following is true. Now if we look at 3 plus root 2 by 4. Now 3 plus root 2 is 1.414 plus 3. So it will be 4.414 by 4. Now this is 1 point 1 something. It will lie in between the two. And here, 
value of px it will be negative that means this option a it is correct now here 3 into root 2 3 into root 2 is 4.24 plus 1 divided by 4 which is 1.31 now 1.31 will again lie in between these two so here it should be negative that is given that it is greater than 0 it means option b is incorrect now 5 root 2 7.07 .07 minus 1 divided by 4 this is 1.51 and 1.51 is greater than 1.414 so this value 5 root 2 minus 1 upon 4 here graph lies above our x-axis so it will be positive that means option c is correct and then 5 minus root 2 5 minus 1.414 is 3.586 whole divided by 4 so it will be 0.89 so this value will lie here and here again the graph lies above x-axis so it should be positive not negative so the correct options are a and c